Okay, so uh, data IPA config, that's the only folder we have left. So we'll just copy it over and see what we're gonna do with it. Uh, we may decide that we, uh, you know, put it in the right spot here. We may decide that we uh, don't need that at all, or it may be really important. So let's take a look at it, see what it says here. If you're gonna make the device garlic, so we would change that to life1x2 and save that file. <clears throat> see if any of these other configuration files point to something. Um, a little bit of research is telling me um, that uh, that we may need this file, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see, I don't see any pointers to it in the device or the board config. Uh, <clears throat> .make file. So, Let's look at our to-dos real quick. <clears throat> um, we still have these media codecs, those we got. Let's see, CP tables, FM. I don't even know if this phone has FM radio. IRQ, um, those were in that config. Um, folder, so those got copied over. This IRSC got copied over. So they may be wrong, but at least it's not a to-do because we already did them. Uh, notice this lights is for the MSM 8937, so that's probably going to work because that's the chip that we have. Um, this OMX, this is all standard OMX stuff, so unless we need something particular, uh, that's probably fine. Power, notice that's for the MSM 8937. So that's the chip we have, so that's probably fine. Uh, QMI and RAM disk. Now this RAM disk stuff, we had copied all that over in the root folder with these init QCOMs and the FS tabs. So those are all there. Real, we have no idea if the real works. Uh, to do, this is in that config sensors file. We checked those out already, so we can take that out. So a lot of these to-dos have been cleaned up. Um, you know, really, we're, it looks like we're pretty much ready to start building and uh, seeing what happens. Um, notice here, just some references to file systems, key masters, uh, power variants, uh, our real or radio interface layer, a lot of this stuff. Um, we do have that rooter fstab.qcom put in, so we can take out that to-do. Again, taking out the to-do doesn't mean that it's, that it's all fixed and perfect. It just means that we don't have anything to do with that. We're done putting that in. It may not work. We may have to fix it, but at least it is there. So we really do have um, you know, our work pretty, pretty well along here. So we're going to push this to GitLab, and we're going to uh, get this set up to um, to start building. And um, <clears throat> then we're going to repo sync and uh, copy all that good stuff over that we just. Uh, just pushed. So let's see. Um, we've got our backup files in case we need anything. We're probably going to run into a lot of vendor files that are missing, and it's going to say, oh, we need this or that. So we probably open that up. We see we have our QCOM stuff set up because um, this is a Qualcomm chip, so we probably want Qualcomm device 
Uh, we may need Qualcomm Common. That would be really uh, important thing to have. How do you know if you need it or not? Well, that's a good question. But if we look for QCOM, uh, there's a common folder for, that's common for all Qualcomm devices, which I'm used to seeing in the past. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that we need it. Um, but it is uh, possible that we do. So we don't have that common folder. So I'm going to go on a limb and say that we do need it. So let's grab it. And um, it's just got a bunch of uh, common stuff, like here's that power, 8937, which we said we did want. We are in 8937. <clears throat> so we'll need, we'll need this sort of thing uh, in here as well. So what's a good way to make sure, like we could just add it to our local manifest, but then the next person who builds the device, what if it doesn't copy over for them? You know, if they don't use our local manifest, if they just try to build the device itself. So I think uh, I think we should grab that dependency file and put it to use. So we've got our lineage dependency file. We'll make a copy. We'll put it in here, and we're going to open it up and edit with the edit. And we're going to copy this information right here. Where'd we go? There we go. And paste it in here. And it's gonna be device QCOM common. So we'll save that and that'll help us uh, in the future to make sure that we download and get that when we need it. So we also need to make sure we have the hardware, we have the QCOM folder and this appears to be well populated here. So I don't think we're going to have a problem there, but uh, you know, it's always worth taking a look. Um, Look under hardware, QCOM, see if there's any other stuff we might need from here. Looks like, looks like all the stuff we already have. Um, not seeing anything new that, that we'd probably need to tag specifically. We, uh, of course, we might start building and find do we need something else. You know, if you're building from scratch, you're building for a particular phone, make sure the hardware files, the hardware folder for that phone is available, at least for whatever brand it is, uh, probably help out significantly. So let's uh, push this up and repo sync again, and we'll be ready to build.